Hey guys, so uh, while I'm also stuck at home, I decided to take some of the free time that I had to do a masterclass online through Masterclass, really cool website. It's, it's Top Perlman, and he talks all about obviously different things for violin because he's a world famous violinist. But the things that he says don't just apply to violin, they apply to viola and they also apply to cello or any musician for that matter. Um, but I know that we're always talking about how to practice, and he gives some really great tips here. Um, his first one in this lesson was to play with a metronome, okay? So that way you clearly understand the beats, and if you guys did your recordings for me with a metronome, which was awesome, okay? Um, and if you don't practice with a metronome regularly, you should jump on that train. But this is the one that I really wanted to show you. You ready? What does he say? Alright, let's listen. I can tell you that for me what works is practicing slowly and practicing practicing in rhythms. So that if you have let's say I give you an example, you have a scale. So if, if the scale is a little complicated, you go Okay, so I know it's a little choppy, but we always talk about long versus short, and then he says do the opposite, short versus long. And then whatever rhythm you can you can do, you do that rhythm multiple times, and then you change it to a new rhythm. So get creative, practice with rhythms. I promise for a lot of those tricky sections, either in the code, where you really have to pay attention to those G sharps and C sharps, or in um, Danza Espanol or Harry Potter or any of the pieces that we work on now or in the future, rhythms will help. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. He has so many other good tips as well about how to break down your practicing. He recommends doing three hours a day, one hour of scales, one hour of etudes, and one hour of repertoire. So I'm going to end this chat, and I'm going to go practice my scales. Hope you are too. See ya.